friends Josie here thanks for joining me here in my channel today I have a collaboration and I'm so excited first I want to show you a thumbnail of all my projects that I'm going to be creating today in this video I am collaborating with Heidi Sonbull who is a very talented creator here on YouTube and she specializes in farmhouse style she creates beautiful home decor and organizers made from Dollar Tree items so please go to her channel and subscribe she has invited me to this collaboration and I am so excited to be collaborating with her and I am so excited to watch also her video she has in store for us she has created three DIYs that I'm sure you're going to love and this is the thumbnail that she has prepared for us as a teaser so don't forget to go to her channel after you watch my video I'm excited to go there too to watch her video so again please visit her channel after you watch this video now for my first DIY I'll be using these three wooden cubes that they sell at Dollar Tree it actually comes with a smaller cube inside and the cube has three designs of cutouts and I'll be inserting here a photo of my previous video where I used it today I'm gonna to be creating a utensil organizer so that I can organize my wooden utensils so I am just using hot glue to connect all three cubes you can also use wood glue or if you want to drill it you can do that too but hot glue works just fine I'm also going to be using craft smart acrylic paint any acrylic paint that you have or any chalk paint or whatever paint that you have would work as well so I'm just using this light blue or powder blue color and just using my artist paint brush I'll just be painting this wooden cubes I'll be applying a couple of coats on all sides and also the top rims. I will not be painting the inner part of the cubes. After letting it dry, here's how it should look like. I didn't paint the bottom part as well because it will not be seen. I am going to be embellishing the outer part or the front part by using the poster stickers that I have on hand. They're also from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be spelling the word EAT. E -A -T. So I'm just trying to make sure that I align each letter. I'm just eyeballing it here. If you want to use a little ruler you can do that too but I want to keep it simple and easy I just eyeball it I'm also going to be using this disposable wooden cutlery sets there by A's Eco Buddies and they also approached me to kind of try out their products and I've always wanted to check out the disposable wooden cutlery sets that I've been seeing online so these are premium all natural and they're disposable and biodegradable so anytime that is eco-friendly I love to use them so it is 100% birch wood and it's compostable and chemical and dye free so there are about 150 pieces here 50 forks 50 spoons and 50 knives so I'm just going to be putting them in each compartment so one compartment for the forks one for the spoons and one for the knives I love that the natural finish on the cutlery set matches the inner part of the wood now you could leave the wood also bare without painting but I think the contrast looks nice now I'm just going to be attaching a couple of handles here by using some nautical ropes that I also got at Dollar Tree so I'm just gonna create like an inverted U or like a horseshoe shape just keeping it simple and then hot gluing it onto each side 
and then letting it dry and then voila I have a handle on each side to carry my utensil caddy so this will be perfect for entertaining if you are interested in testing out also trying out these products here you know this wooden utensils I will be linking them in the description box below as well So this is how it's set up. I have propped it up for spring with my bunny ceramics there and also my bunny plate and a bunch of silk flowers from Dollar Tree. For my next DIY, I'm going to be doing a little bit of an upcycling here or trash to treasure by using this packaging box and I am going to be creating a storage for under the bed. This is an under the bed storage. So I'm just going to be removing all the flaps on all four sides. And then what I'm going to do also is I am just going to be trimming one of the shorter flaps so that I can put it at the center because as you could see the center is not quite even so to make it a little even or to just reinforce that one I am just going to be using one of the shorter flap now I am going to be also opening this up now you could skip this if you're going to be using thicker material to cover it but since I'm going to be using contact paper sold by Dollar Tree, sometimes you could see images under it. So what I've done is I have reversed it. So using the inner part as my outer part. So I'm just reconstructing it again. And then the outer part became the inner part. So again, you can skip this if you don't mind seeing the images underneath or if you want to double up the contact paper so I measured the contact paper and then cutting to size uh, different or several strips here some will be covering the sides and then one at the bottom so I'm going to be covering the outer part first using all the strips that I cut and again this is a Dollar Tree contact paper so I need to reinforce it also underneath make sure that it doesn't peel off because they can peel off easily so I've been reinforcing them to make sure that they stick and they don't peel off now that center part I am just kinda marking it and then trimming it to size as well just so that it could fit perfectly at the center and then again using my packaging tape I am putting some tape there originally I was thinking about reinforcing the bottom with this but then I realized I want to block off the sides the inner side so that the images and some of the overlapping contact paper will not show then I'm going to be covering them also with contact paper. So as you notice, I'm not doing any measurement here for you or labeling any, providing you any measurement. As long as you have something that will fit under the bed. This one is around three inches or three and a half inches high. And the width, it all depends on what you have. Now, if you don't have anything like this, you can also use the foam board that they sell at Dollar Tree. So here I'm just covering the inner part, you know, the inner bottom part of the box just so to make it look prettier. And then I'm covering each of those flaps that I have cut or trimmed to size so that I can double up and cover the imperfection. So this 
is not just to cover up the images there, you know, the brand image from the box or that you see on the box, but also to reinforce so that it will be thicker and not flimsy. And as you can see, I'm just attaching them with hot glue and I am trimming as I go because the contact paper added some height to it so I just had to readjust. Here I'm just measuring where I'm going to put a hole or a couple of holes actually because I'm going to be adding a handle so that I can easily pull it out or push it in. So pull it out from under the bed. So I'm just measuring where I'm going to be puncturing the holes. I'm just using a sharp or pointed object and this is a letter opener that I'm using just to puncture my holes. So I'm also puncturing not just from the inner part but also on the outside and then making sure that I make it wide enough so that my rope handle this is another nautical rope that I have left over from a previous project and I'm just cutting it to size actually cutting at least probably eight inches long so that there will be enough so that I can tie up a couple of knots on each end that will act as stoppers so that my handle will stay in place and not unravel when I pull it in and out. So here I place some towels, face towels and some linens here and a throw blanket just so I could demonstrate to you how it looks like. And you know if you want to trim also the sides or the top part just to make it a little bit more finished with some more nautical rope but I didn't want to waste materials but you can do that for contrast. As you could see it's on top of the bed right now. Um, I didn't film it under the bed anymore. I just want to show you how it looks like. For the next one, I'm just going to be showing you the finished project because this is actually a flashback and I am going to be linking in the description box below as well as an iCard on the upper right hand corner where you can watch all the steps on how I created this. This is one of my favorites if not my very favorite DIY and I figured I include it here because it's also in farmhouse style and I use just the uh, plastic cutting boards that they sell at Dollar Tree as well as a couple of frames that fit the size and also that handle there is the rolling pin from Dollar Tree and I'm organizing also the cooking utensils the wooden utensils that they also sell at Dollar Tree and that glass square vase there it's also from Dollar Tree, which I wrap with some leftover gift wrapping paper, the Buffalo Check gift wrapping paper. And I also organize my recipe books there, as well as my traveler's notebooks, and to match my chef that's wearing Buffalo Check as well. So again, if you want to watch the video on this one, because I know that from Heidi's channel, if you have not subscribed yet, there are some new subscribers also that may be coming over and watching this so I want to include this as well and I've used this also back in fall to hold my pots of lavender for my fourth and final DIY I will be upcycling or repurposing this large empty cookie can so i thought of painting it instead of keeping this nostalgic design or painting here i'm just going to be refinishing it now here's a little bit of asmr for you
That sounds so satisfying, right? <laughs> now, anyway, I'm just using some leftover chalk paint. And I've used this in several projects already, even in painting furnishings. So I am just going to directly paint over this about a couple or maybe three coats of paint. Actually, it's probably best if you will just spray paint this, but I've decided to just paint it like this and it worked out anyway. So I have good three coats there and I just left a little bit of rough edges so that it'll look rustic. Now since the lid is embossed or textured, I don't want to paint it and I want to give it a little bit more rustic look by wrapping it with jute or nautical rope that they sell at Dollar Tree. Again, this is part of the leftover that I've been using since the first project. And I'm just applying hot glue here in the tip. And then that's going to be just my starting point. I am just curling it or looping it at the center, making sure that it is snug, no space or hole showing just making it tight and then I am just going to be kind of looping it all around until I am able to create a cover for the lid so I am not hot gluing all areas here as you notice I am just doing them in increments so this wasn't long enough so I have another roll so I have about one and a half rolls used here for this project and I was able to also cover all the way to the bottom part of the lid And then I'm going to be testing it out. Of course, it's still going to fit because it's the same lid. It's just covered with jute. And I love it. I love how it turned out. It's just so simple. So I am just going to be labeling it again with letters B-R-E-A-D for bread. And these are also a different style of letters. These are the smaller letters that they sell at Dollar Tree. It's, these are the poster stickers. So this is so neutral, so farmhouse, and I love it. And if you want to protect it, go ahead and add Mod Podge just so that they will not peel off. And if you want to paint or apply Mod Podge all around, even on top of the paint, you can do that as well just to keep it more protected so this is how it looks like and I'm gonna show you also actually I'm gonna try it out here with a full loaf of whole wheat bread by Oro wheat and then some leftover bread that we have and they fit in with a little bit more space left And so I hope you enjoyed this video everyone. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it to anyone who may be interested in this types of project. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell icon so that you will not miss any of my new uploads. And I want to say thanks again Heidi for inviting me to this collaboration and please Go to her channel, hop on there. I know I will be watching as well. And I'm sure all of us will not be disappointed because like I said, she's uber talented. And I hope to talk to you again, everyone, in my next video. Take care and God bless. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <music>